Hey guys, Tony Soy Sasa Sasa, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. It is Sunday afternoon, so I figure I will review a cigar. So why not? And today we're doing the Felipe Gregorio 30th anniversary. Here we go. And this one is sent over by Eric. Midnight Cigars. And it's a brand that I never heard before. I've never seen it before. I went online and looked at pictures. And come on, Eric, if you know me, you know to not send me one, but an entire jar. This cigar is extremely expensive, okay? This cigar is $40. $40 for one of these things. So, I don't know. Let's take a close look. Felipe Gregorio 30th Anniversario Don Felipe XLP. That's a mouthful. Rapper is Ecuadorian Habano Rosado. Binder is Costa Rica. Pelo de Oro. Filler is Honduras. Habano 90A. Comes in 5x54. Robusto Gordo. Comes in a pigtail format. MSRP $40 in a jar of $25. So $1,000 in a jar. They made 300 jars. Really? Really? As you can see, this is a cigar I have never seen before. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, this one does have a little bit of fold right here. That's not perfect, but that's okay. $40 cigar. I probably know at this moment, this is not gonna be $40 because it's really hard to reach a $40 range. Okay, so big cigar. Let's get started. Oh, what? Mmm. Smell like dough. Like a sour dough. Some sort of pastry shop. Some sort of like breakfast location kind of taste. Nice smell. All right. The leaf is yeah, it's white. What does it feel that way? It's weird. Oh my god. All right. Dough. Soaked cereal. So like frost flake cereal soaked in milk and then you just take a bite together. Not as sweet, but that flavor. Yeah, it's like a dough and that. That's all I got. Being a Habano 98, I'm surprised it's not peppery. I don't know. All right. Get the sides. The aroma of lighting it up actually is pretty good. It smells woodsy and nice. Sweet smell. Almost fruity. All right.
there is a little bit of pepper now there is a little that still that doughiness there is a, a lingering bitterness at the end Yeah, doughy. Just a little bit of sourness. Has a little bit of sharp taste. Woodsy notes. Boxed pretzel. I'm not talking about the the pretzel that you can get from like a pretzel shop. I'm talking about those bag of like dry pretzels. You open up, there's some pretzel in there. It tastes like that. That's what I got. And pepper. And pepper. All right, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. Okay, with a little bit problem that was resolved, this cigar first third is actually pretty good. All right, let me address this first. First, I cut it. This is the cap. You can see I cut the cap. However, I did not know that really is not fully cut because what happened is this is the another one that I cut. So I took it and cut some more because there was no draw. Like there was draw, but there's no smoke, not enough smoke. So I cut it. You can see this flap covered the cigar. So somehow when they wrapped it, they wrapped it over it so much time that you can't tell so as you can see this is really a flap not you see that a cap in a cap in a cap okay i can understand it but if you don't cut deep enough and you don't look at it you won't know because it looks just like tobacco when it's on there all right all right and then i took draw still no draw so i pulled out an excalibur and now there's draw now it's draw uneven but sure Pepper, cinnamon, woodsiness, fruitiness, creaminess, some sort of cereal dough taste. And that's a creaminess. And nice sweet cedar. There's a sweet sweet tone to it. It's almost um closer to a caramel kind of sweet, but it's has some fruitiness so that kills it so you can't really tell it's fruity sweet or it's a caramel sweet but it's pretty good tastes pretty good all right and and i went online and i looked at what's so special about this cigar why is it 40 dollars so apparently the binder uses a 10 year old tobacco and the filler is 22 year uh, uh honduras like i personally don't believe that someone hold a honduras habano 98 for 22 years like, what are you doing to hold tobacco for 22 years? You know what I'm saying? I personally don't believe it, but there's no way to prove it. And when they say 22 years, is it aging their 20 foot year? Or is it leave it there for 22 years or whatnot? Because tobacco lose flavor as you uh, age them. They, they marry the flavor, but the oil starts to dry out slowly. So is the water, but you start to get different kind of flavor profile. Anything more than 13 years depreciates. So this could have been a good cigar. It's like, you know, but right now it's pretty good. Right now it's pretty good. Sweet, nice. And I'm about to have some milk tea to go with it. And um, I am looking forward to it because it tastes pretty good right now. Right now. So if you got one, no problem. This is a good cigar. Like, you see, I still have a little bit of the side that's kind of covered. I don't know. I don't understand like what did they do. And I want to keep cutting it because I have no cap left. But... What did they do? I mean, there's more stem that I can pull in lieu of the side cutting, but I don't want to do that. I want to have a little bit of resistance um, and hopefully without destroying the cigar. All right, so that's the first third. We'll be back for a second. Second third. All right, this cigar burns hard. I don't know why. Maybe it's the way, like there's a knot somewhere in here. I can, if I press here, there's like all kind of stem so it's having trouble burning one side but i'm trying to correct it without having to relight it and um still tastes good still sweet woodsy fruity creamy uh, 
cinnamon, cereal. <sighs> what is that flavor? Fruity and a little bit floral. Okay. Strings about a medium, maybe medium plus. It really depends how fast you smoke on this one. I'm, I'm having trouble a little bit. So I don't want us to say that it's really full. It could be because uh, I'm having trouble drawing, but I say it's, it's about medium. But the flavor, I would say it's about medium. All right, the body is medium. It tastes good. It tastes good. It tastes good. Okay, I'm surprised how nice this is. That sweet cedar and fruitiness and stuff. It's really good. It, that, that, Cereal combined with the fruitiness, combined with the sweet cedar, combined with a little bit of creaminess. It's like eating a nice, like a uh, fruity cocoa cereal, a fruity um, pebble cereal. It's nice. It's nice. Okay, I'm surprised how nice this is. I like it. I enjoy this. I'll smoke more of these, to be honest with you. If I can get a perfect one, it will be perfect. Anyway, here's a bun. Bam, bam, blah, blah, bam. Felipe Gregorio, like I say, I've never heard of this brand. Pretty cool. Has a little bit of that Xeno feel to it. And then says 30 years anniversary, anniversario, 1990 to 2020. So this guy probably been out for a while. Okay. And now we just have Laster and the price. I'm gonna enjoy the Laster and come back with the price. But I don't think it's gonna be $40. I'm gonna struggle with it a little bit. Let that flow and then come back with you. All right, be right back. All right, Laster, as you can see, there is burn problem. I had to fix it. I had to fix it. It does not want to burn on that side at all. But Flavor still good. Laster still have flavor. Did it die down a little bit? Not a little bit, but that cinnamon black pepper kind of ramped up a little bit more. This cigar does burn hot. Even if I smoke slow, it's burn hot. So that just tells me there's quite a bit of construction problem in here. And it's like really not allowing to go through as much as it should. However, cigar is good. Hmm, tastes so good. I just took another creamy, fruity, nice woodsy puff. It's nice. All right. I can recommend this cigar. However, not at $40. Not at $40. This cigar, it might sound like it's not worth it. But for me, I can see that if you have this once in a while, it will be worth it. So. What's the price that worth it for me? Surprisingly, I'll give this cigar 30 bucks. 30 bucks. And that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. But this cigar is very enjoyable. The flavor is there. You can definitely taste it. It's just the construction is bad. Right? <clears throat> if you got the jar, then I guess it will be worth 40 bucks because you're buying that jar. But the cigar itself, 30 bucks. 30 bucks. It's a really nice cigar. I already found more. I'll, I'll take more. It's a good cigar. I like it. Surprisingly, I like it. 40 bucks. Nope. 30 bucks. Okay. Yeah. With the jar, it's worth it. But that jar is like $1,000. It's... I wouldn't say the jar is worth it. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't say the jar is worth it. But yeah, this thing once in a while is not bad at all. Not bad at all. I, I, I had latte with my cigar. It actually was really, really good. I enjoy that last roughly hour and 25 minutes. Hour and 25 minutes. Despite of that, I had to pull out an Excalibur in half. This is one Excalibur and here's half Excalibur. And it got the draw and the flavor starts really come through. Really good, really good. Okay, just construction issue. I don't know why they didn't get these out. I don't I don't know why. Like it's this big. It's it's huge. It's huge. Why don't you just take that out? But no, they didn't take it out, but tastes good. 30 bucks it is. So 
Big thanks to Eric sending me the cigar. I enjoyed it. It was a great cigar. Perfect time for Saturday and um, Sunday. And you know, after this, kind of have dinner. You know, it's got a good. Day. It's got to be a good day, right? So thirty bucks. Um, I still don't understand the twenty-two year part because I know that after thirteen years, cigars go downhill. So I can only imagine if this thing was only ten years, maybe they could have done this ten years ago, and it would be a great cigar too. I don't know why. And if they did this ten years ago and have have the price range about twenty twenty-five, it was so out right away. Yeah, even though I give it 30, at 25, I'll buy the entire jar. <laughs> okay. At 25 bucks, I'll buy the entire jar. 30 bucks, I'll smoke it once in a while. 40 bucks, maybe not. Okay. So that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, and um check out podcast, check out membership stuff, check out our swag. And you know, in the shadow project still going. Check out our live shows and we continue to update everybody, including the members, of course. And that will be it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.